Hi everyone, I'm Timothy Von Rieden, better known as Von Art Online, and today we're going to be doing the live stream 300k giveaway drawing, and I'm going to be conceptualizing with you guys, we're going to be doing it digitally, and I'm going to be throwing some ideas on the canvas, and once we kind of get a good feel for one, we'll develop it further. So, uh, if you guys want to suggest ideas, I'm going to be taking kind of the, the feedback I get from you guys, throwing it on here, and then we'll kind of take a vote and see which direction we want to go with. So if you have any ideas off the bat, uh, I, I'm i definitely very much feeling something fantastical. And it could be a creature, it could be a fairy, it could be a woodland something, it could be more animalistic, uh, it could be more witchy, I could even go that direction, more macabre. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to isolate myself into any corner yet. So literally, if you have ideas, just put at Bonart and then your idea, and then I'll start writing them down. Let's generate these ideas here. Idea generator. A straighter line than that. I'm going to take this out of the... Sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of the iPad stand. Sometimes I just want to work with it in my lap or on the table slightly. Old style witch. Mmm. Wizard with a mask. Ooh, okay. I'll start. I'll start writing some of these down here. We've got old wizard with mask. Oh, now they're starting to come in. Here we go. Horns. Whatever it's got to be, it's got to have horns. Ooh, a mime. <laughs> Simon, I'm here. Simon from Canada. Well, hello, hello. A woodland fairy, but not Disney, more high fantasy. Ooh, that, that could be fun. I could definitely see the fairy with those, um, what are those called? Those seeds that fall from trees and then spin. I know, uh, was it Audrey Benjaminson, I believe the artist's name? She does some really cool fairies with these uh, organic looking wings and it definitely feels like a, a woodland nature fairy because then they always have like, big bulbous heads, usually some like plant form coming out from the back. They have this kind of shape to them. You know, you know, like long stringy fingers and arms. Be wearing some leaf decor as their armor. Oh, I mean, I kind of made them look alien, <laughs> which I definitely don't want to be doing sci-fi stuff. Oh, okay, way more popped in. Demon Hunter. Hmm. Now, mind you, a lot of these could, oops, a lot of these could melt into one another. So these will not be exclusive ideas. They could easily merge into one. Baba Yaga inspired. Okay, so I'm definitely getting dark fantasy seems to be the theme so far, which is totally what I would be into right now. Art Nouveau Plague Doctor. You'd think I would know how to spell Nouveau by heart at this point. A witch with a handsome dragon. 
Since we already have Wit, I'll put down Dragon. <laughs> Some adult witch is teaching a baby witch how to do magic. I mean, that's pretty cute. They end up drawing something witchy, maybe something with a small familiar. Okay. So dragon or familiar. And we'll start narrowing it down and we'll kind of decide on something together. A plant wizard. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Can a fairy also be a witch? I wonder if we go down that direction. <laughs> Simon, an old style witch with a mask with horns who was also a mine and a woodland fairy. <laughs> a Viking woman with a dragon. I should just write in cursive, but I don't know if you guys would be able to read it. I feel like I have such better handwriting when I do cursive. A forest spirit. Hmm. Oh, of course I can do transparent floaty fabric. <laughs> I feel like that's a given for me. Maple leaf see maple leaf tree seeds. Let me look that up. Maple oh, is that the, the thing I was talking about? Yes. Okay, so they're maple seeds. I'll remember that from now on. Maple seeds. I'll probably remember that because of Maple Story. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of fairy, dark magic. What's a tree ant king? Tree ant king? Is that... Is that something specific? Or are you talking like tree ant king? Usually I'm pretty good with references, but I don't know that one. An Animal Crossing Sona. Actually, mine's pretty great. I love my Animal Crossing Sona. Spirit of Darkness. Ooh, a satyr. Okay. So let's tr start putting these together here. I'm seeing a lot of similar ideas. So now let's narrow it down. So out of these... Where should we push it? I kind of like the idea of, let's combine a few of these here. So I'm thinking, let me grab a different color. So I like the nature, scary nature type vibe that we're all kind of, seems to be vibing with. So we could do this woodland fairy who's also a magical being. So I'm thinking a fairy that has witch either tendencies or articles of clothing or something on her that gives her that appearance. So I'm definitely seeing... <laughs> I guess I could add little mime accents, either some face paint or something that would give them know some of that effect I kind of do that with my woodland or my uh, dirt kids I give them dots on above and below the eye I wonder if we did horns where they're kind of like how iris does her horns where they're either going off the sides and this we can definitely play with we can play with different style horns but I'm thinking rather than just do like the straight up ones because maybe we'll have antennas or something. I think it's good to like throw everything on and then we'll start editing, you know. Actually, me and Josh watched a movie called Journey Through Fairyland, I think it's called. Let me double check that. Journey Through, or A Journey Through Fairyland. And it's this old Japanese movie uh, it's by the company that it may, it is Sanrio. They do Hello Kitty, but they did this movie that's based on 
classical music and it had some really cool fairy designs. I might even steal some ideas from it. I wonder, I want a screenshot. Oh wait, I have the iPad. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. It was, uh, as you can see, I was listening to piano music. I forgot that I can have you guys also look through this. So it definitely has an old feel to it, but some of their fairies, they had really cool designs. I wonder if I can find, <gasps> this is the one that I loved. Wonder if it'll pull up here. Yeah, it was this trumpet blower and it had this moth design, but all their limbs were super long, elongated and uh, quite beautiful. So maybe I could do something like that where they have a very elongated uh, body. There was also one other character that I really loved. This movie's so old, I almost don't expect there to be a lot of screen caps from it. So maybe not. All right, well, either way, I found the, the moth creature that I really liked. So we can kind of play off of that elongated uh, body here. Corey says, if it goes down the warrior route as opposed to the witchy route, maybe using a bow or a big honking axe. I mean, those are really fun to draw. A giant axe just feels good to draw. Woodland fairy producing magic, says Julia. Oh, that's a good, that's not a bad. Well, that's what I think we're, I think that's where we're dabbling in here. Cloud says, small fairy flying, struggling to carry some fruit, which is way too heavy for her. Maybe too specific, though. I mean... I don't know, we could, I, the, I, the whole part of this stream is just throw anything out and we'll, we'll go with it. Ooh, horns could have thorns. Hmm. Oh, that could be an interesting concept. I could definitely play with this being like a flower fae. Give it a flower collar. Hmm. Okay, I like this direction. So a f how, how do you guys feel about this? Like a fairy with magical abilities, but it's a flower fae. So we're gonna do like a high collar flower and then these horns, whichever direction they end up going that are thorny, so maybe we could throw in more of a rose element, like a rose fairy. Um, am I finished with ideas? Um, honestly, if you have other ones that kind of fit the theme we're generally going down, I would, you could still throw them out there. You know what, here, I'll make, I'm gonna make a new, I'm just gonna make a new canvas all together. All right, so let's, I'm just going to throw out some simple sketches of a, like a, a head shape. Because the horns, we could either do something kind of crazy where they go back and then front. Because when it comes to horns, sometimes I like creating horns that I haven't drawn before, which... I've drawn a lot of horns in my life on characters, but um, I try to keep it somewhat new. Definitely hate those thorns, though. 
<laughs> Sometimes I'll do something and I'm like, what was I thinking there? Now, mind you, this could get way more complicated because if there's something that I do like, I like to make things more elaborate and gaudy and uh, a feeling of over the top. So the, like I said, this, I'm not committing to anything at this point. These are literally still in the concepting phase. You know what though, I should be doing this way smaller. There is no need for a thumbnail to be that big starting off. Um, Eric says, finish, oh no, sorry, Drea says, I'm kind of still dedicated to the helicopter leaf wings. Oh yeah, I can, I still like that idea too. Let me look at the maple leaf seeds again, just so it looks more accurate here. Okay. So they, definitely have a more bulbous part. I'll probably extend them just a little bit. And I could make this a triple winged creature. What if the the bottom wings are a little longer? You know where we have uh, the elongation on the bottom here. You know what? I'm gonna move the comments where I can see them a little easier. Move them right there. Okay. And if at ever you can't see what I'm drawing, just let me know because I'm I have a lot of I have like Pinterest pulled up, and I have Google search pulled up. And we could still make her older. I'm not totally going the young route. I think I just naturally go that direction. Ooh, I kind of like the idea of some strong shoulder pads though. So sometimes I'll do this where I will duplicate a layer because working digitally, it's like the beauty of it. You can edit things so quickly and be very non-committal to anything, honestly. I wonder if we go more bug-like. This almost gives me praying mantis looking of a feeling. Then I do don't, I didn't forget the wispy cape. So for, I think for that, I might do it behind the arms and have them kind of connect. I mean, this is definitely tapping into the fashion side of myself. <laughs> I feel like you guys are seeing the fun I have uh, and creating like a, a wardrobe. Ooh, okay. Oh, Amy, you really want me to do a group of uh, beings, don't you? It says, could you do a group of fairies, each with a different look, one mime, one flower, one demon? I mean, that's a lot of work for, if you know how slow I actually am at drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you how ambitious you think um, I am with time. Like I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll finish that today, but that would take me like a long time. <laughs> I could try though. I shouldn't say no to anything, really. 
Corey says, if we're still going dark, maybe a play on the Black Dahlia murder and use that flower. What was the mur or what was the flower that they used? Is there a specific one or is it just Was it just a Dahlia? Is it Am I overthinking things? Is it just a Dahlia? Oh, that's a pretty flower though. Oh, well, thank you, Abby, for subscribing. Get a little bell ring. <laughs> My beautiful sounding cowbell. Hmm. I wonder. Here, you know what? I'm going to copy that layer again. So I'm looking at the black, or the dahlia flower. It's definitely got a very bloomy type petal organization where it feels very symmetrical, or at least the ones that I'm looking at. So I wonder if I do extend that out a little bit. Let me see, I don't want to miss comments though. Maybe that's dark in a way that's too real. Oh no, that's fine. They don't have comments. I mean, I don't mind going dark. I, I feel like I'm not uh, you know, I'm not trying to illustrate a kid's book. We can go dark. I'm totally also for free the nipple, so I could easily do some fairy nips. Art Cell says maybe a faded black rose. Ooh. That'd be interesting. Like a wilting flower fairy. One pastor prime. Wonder how I would. Hmm. <laughs> Let's play with these ideas here. Oh, Tim, stop doing the generic. I have a tendency to go to Maleficent, Maleficent horns. I feel like that's my go-to, and I gotta stop doing that. It's like they work great on her but they definitely still read to me as Maleficent. I never see those horns and think anything else besides <laughs> Maleficent. It's a great design, but I don't want to steal it. I wonder, hmm, <laughs> so you guys are saying. Arts uh, or SH Creation say, if you're going to do a thorn fairy, maybe a rose drape or collar and broken rose leaf wings. It's tough because I, I really do like the, the maple leaf wings as well. But I wonder if I could, maybe a rose drape. Maybe like the, hmm. Oh, maybe I could make, okay, hear me out. What if the, her boots per se are like thigh high boots. They kind of pedal out. I mean, I could definitely make it look even better when we put her in a pose. I mean, I guess it can cover her up. I can be, I can be family friendly. <laughs> Eric says, holding a forbidden spell ready, like a fireball that perhaps looks sinister as a woodland fairy would consider fire more malevolent than others. Hmm. I'm thinking if it's a like a rose fairy that can conjure magic. I wonder if we play up the thorn angle. Like maybe she somehow is able to hmm, like create some kind of a magic or spell that would be thorny or something that would be an attack that she could do or I don't, something or maybe a potion that hmm. <laughs> Let's keep thinking on that one. I like the idea of her casting or like conjuring a spell of some kind, but I want it to relate either to like a rose or maybe maybe we got to pull away from the rose a bit. Like what other, do you guys know any flowers that have thorns besides a rose? I feel like I'm not getting, coming up with anything at the top of my head right away. 
Jake says, more dark, jagged limbs like the ones in Sean Cross's fear illustrations would look amazing. I actually don't know what those are. I'll have to Google that really quick. Oh, you know what? I have heard someone that does these. Or I, I've seen someone showed me these before. I mean, I always do love a good point leg. They're really simple. It kind of, <laughs> they're easy to create. So I, I could do that. Should we try some point legs? I mean, I guess it would go kind of down the theme of this thorny fairy witch. Hmm. I gotta do something different with the horns. I'm not crazy about using Maleficent horns. A mini queen of hearts. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Oh my god, yes, love that flow. Yeah, we could definitely have more of a pointed toe. Drea says another twist would be making it a boy. Ooh. I mean, I'm always down to gender bend here. Let me let me make a copy of that. So if this was a boy, <laughs> Beyonce, if this was a boy, I think I would flatten out the chest. Not that girls can have flat chests too, but we're going to try to see what this would look like as a boy. Or more, I guess, more masculine features. But uh, not even, I, wouldn't, I don't even want to use the masculine because it can be very feminine. But yeah, be a boy fairy. I still think I would do some kind of a collar. I mean, I guess they don't even have to have a uh, sex or gender, really. I could just keep them looking bare. Leave it up to the viewer. You know what, though? I think there's something about having little leaves or something around here. I mean, I guess still same thing. It doesn't really matter what gender it is. It could still cover the nipple. Um, Bartek says, what about doing Morgana-like wings when they are also a collar and part of her clothing? Oh, like League, which I have to be playing <laughs> sometime soon. Uh, if you can see, we hit the subscriber goal, so I got to play a game, and I picked League of Legends to stream live. So I don't know when I'll be doing that, but if you want to watch someone try to not get angry at a video game, you can watch me play <laughs> League of Legends. I mean, I've gotten better. I, I've learned how to have more fun with it, but sometimes that game can just still get under my skin. Oh, you know what? I like this. I like having the collar be one of the the wings, like have it extend out. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, Brandon says, what if you gave her a wooden warrior mask? If I made... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Well, the thing is, I think I would have to make the piece of wood pretty big. Because whenever I make something to scale, I try to have it pull from elements that are also to scale. So if it picked bark or something, it'd probably be a pretty big piece of bark on her face, which still could work. I mean, maybe we could do like a crazy big piece of bark. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if we did it twisting around the head a little bit. Maybe we can carry that flow down the body even. You know? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Rico says, what would you consider would you consider using this base for a pose, like a magical growing 
a flower, like a magical growing a flower. Are you talking about how she is like growing a flower and like using magic to help it grow faster? Um, Eric says, if you're going for a mantis look, perhaps have the arms be longer than the legs, like long reaching claws. That'd be interesting. Pull some Digimon inspiration here. I almost like, you're right, instead of doing these very tree branchy type of arms. What if we just make the arms really long? Maybe not longer than the legs, the legs are crazy long right now. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys are having a lot of ideas. I didn't even realize I could scroll down here. <laughs> oh yes, Belly Moth. We will definitely do some lights around here when we're all finished. Don't you worry. That's a that's a for sure. <laughs> Very Brian proud. Oh, he is amazing. So that is a compliment. Can you even steal Maleficent horns when they are so common now? I know. But that's why I want to do something something different. Because I think even with you guys here, we can definitely conceptualize something together to be more than just Maleficent. Um, Ella, one of our wonderful mods, says, I gotta go, but might be able to catch the end of the stream. I'm already liking what we have in progress. Can't wait to see the finished artwork. Well, thank you, Ella. Yeah, I'm liking what we have here, too. I'm very curious to see where it goes. Drea says, don't worry, I like pepperoni on my pizza, it won't offend me. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Eric says, just generating ideas here, how about reversing the wings and limbs, like the arms and legs be wings instead, and there are four arms on the back instead. You're getting crazy. Not a bad idea, though. Oh, we, oh these are the other thorn plants, a barberry? Oh, to be honest, I've never seen a barberry plant. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I have. Yes, I have seen this plant. Oh, those are creepy. Hmm, thistles. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, Simon says, could you make it a gender neutral kind of spirit? I'm doing it for my forest nymph drawing at the moment, and I'm in so into the idea, LOL. Yeah, I, that's why I'm thinking we'll keep it, I guess, genderless. <laughs> However people want to see it, that's fine. I think sometimes when it comes to nature and like plants, uh, well, at least in like a magical sense, we could have them be their own entity. You know, they're not just limited to what we know and are one or the other for the most part. <laughs> Pure magic at this point. Well, thank you. Eric says, quite a lot of useful references can perhaps be found if you looked at Warframe. They use light. There are a lot of quite incredibly artistic robot suits. Yeah, I, I'm also looking at um, like old tarot. I'm looking at like grim fairy tale illustrations on Pinterest right now. Like looking for, I almost want it to be less armory and more this like weird unnatural or weird organic flow armor in a way. I definitely don't want to do symmetry. I think that's one thing for sure I want to stay away from. Oh yeah, if you have references, I why didn't I think of this? Thank you, Drea, for bringing it up. We have a Discord, and if you want to post some references, I could even share some of the ones I'm looking at right now. So we'll do this in the... I assume you're you're putting in the tutorials and references. Ooh, yes, you are. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, some of these are great. Wonder if I play off of the side horn. Hmm. This is where I do another copy paste. Oop. 
honestly, I might keep her without a face. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of it being more mysterious looking. You know what, though? I think I'm, I am going to keep it a little shorter arms because I, I like the idea of the legs and the wings being super long. Ooh, a crown of horns. Oh, these are good ideas, guys. The A was an accident, says Rico. Oh no, I think I'm missing. Oh wait, sorry, the comments jumped. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Jake says, how about a more grotesque flesh horn type thing? We could definitely, you know what? Okay, I like the previous ideas, but let's focus on this one a bit more. If we need to duplicate it, we can. I agree, let's start doing some cutting in here a little bit because even with the way that we are making her I could definitely throw in some of these organic looking shapes because like I said I do want to keep it asymmetrical Um, where was I in the comments here? Eric says, having a heavy chain around the legs, almost pulling them to the ground, a curse or punishment, li limiting their flight. Ooh, I love that story. <laughs> I don't know where you would tie a chain to her, though, because they would just it would come right off her legs. But that's not a bad idea. She's a prisoner of some kind. Or she's on in trouble. wonder if I make it like a chain that goes around her and it's like a magical bond that doesn't allow her to make magic or something cloud says maybe some more horizontal horns straight to the side in a, the shape of a thorn oh we could try that I also might come back to the magical chain idea Hmm. What if I do like a little flower on here? No, nope. I already don't like that. <laughs> you know when you can kind of tell pretty instantly if you don't like something. Adria says, a blank face giving me Angelarium vibes and I love it. I mean, Pete is one of my friends, so maybe I'm subconsciously thinking about his work. Hmm. I mean, I like where this is going for sure. And he says, chain of thorns holding her down. I know, I kind of like the idea of these magical cuffs that allow her not to make magic anymore. I think when I start doing the pose, I'll, I'll get into that. SH says, how do I send you images? You know what, we'll make a, do, do, do. I'll make a temporary stream, or a temporary channel on Discord. So we'll do stream, and I'll do 300K drawing. So if you wanna share some of your ideas or um, images that you find on Pinterest. Actually, that would be great if you guys can share some references because sometimes just putting it through text doesn't get the idea across. So sometimes having a visual language that we can understand each other will help. So I just made it on the Discord. You can join it below. And it's under current events, the stream 300K. And you know what? Let me make sure that you guys can actually post in this channel. <laughs> before I don't want to make it and then you guys can't even 
uh, post in there. So do edit channel. <laughs> Permissions. Everyone can read, send, embed links, attach files, read message history. There we go. Okay, you should be good to go. Uh, let's see here. We're and be sure to put at Vonert. So I'm really quickly trying to read the comments. So I'm just looking for the at highlight. Um, Eric says, anyone getting Hollow Knight vibes here? Oh, I totally see it. And you know what? I loved Hollow Knight. Bartek says, what about like little butterflies flying around? Some insanely beautiful, some grotesque ones like deformed. Oh, what if? I wonder if maybe that's why she is in trouble. I wonder if she was like capturing butterflies or worse. What if she was stealing butterfly wings for like spells? And I have like a a ripped butterfly thing above her. Oh, now we're getting dark. Now we're getting into these dark fantasy elements that I really like. Okay, I actually caught up on comments. There we go. Okay. I do like the idea of some kind of a, a magical bond or chain, but I want it to look cooler than just obviously a real chain. I don't know if it'll be like cuffs that are made out of thorns. Hmm. And also I'm trying to think of the pose I want her in. Maybe like a, or you know what? I might do that. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to think cause I, I wanted to keep the stream to about two hours and maybe this will be more like the conceptual stream and then I'll do the actual drawing off stream. So maybe I won't even worry about the pose. I'll keep worrying about what is on her or them. I shouldn't even say her because it is a woodland spirit. Let's turn the opacity down. Oh, you know what actually on Pinterest, you know what, I just saw something, or on Instagram. There is a cool, well, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Hmm. I was gonna do some filigree work, but ah, this is almost feels too informal to be uh, like filigree everywhere. Oh, you guys are posting some good images. Ooh, yeah, Amy, I like the chains on the legs. Maybe that's the kind of magic we can have going up. You know, and that's why... Oh, maybe you can't even see your hands. What if we did... What's the... Isn't there a, a movie or a show that did that where a magic user, you couldn't even see their hands because they were like giant blocks on them? preventing them from being used. Hmm. <laughs> so I'll, I'll make my brush a little smaller and we'll kind of edge some things out, give some secondary forms. But, but keep throwing things at me if you, you get any cool ideas. Uh, Martin says, what if the face is slightly shattered showing the eye? Possibly. I mean, I could see what it would look like. I, I like the idea of her being faceless. I think it adds this mysterious element, but we could see what it looks like. Mm. I mean, I could show a crack, but not, not show the eye. It just like implied that maybe there's an eyeball back there. But I think I'm, I think I like the smoothness of this. All right, let me throw down some lines and see what you guys think here.
Because I do, I think I want to keep the thorns on the head, like you guys were saying. I love the idea of this turning into her shoulder wing. Ooh, you guys are posting some crazy cool things. And once again, I'm looking on the Discord that you guys can post that I, I have open right now. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, Del Toro Fairy is... I definitely like those dark elements, of course. He'd be one of the directors I would want to work with someday if I have the opportunity. So I'm definitely still going to play up the contrast of having areas that are super filled with detail and then other areas that are just blank. Traces of corruption around cracks in the armor. Ooh, like little rotting wood or something. I could see that. Hmm. I wonder if I go the opposite direction of the wood that's on the head. I wonder what that would look like. Sometimes I like to throw different little filigree patterns and see how I'm liking it. Ooh, what if I only gave one of her legs this really... No, I, I want to get both legs, those long pointed boot things, whatever they are. Oh, well, thank you for... Oh, thank you, Redworm, for the money. Just popping by from Insta to show some support. Love your work so much. I wish I could give more. Honestly, thank you so much for the $5. That was really nice. Oh, you get the bell ring, too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So yeah, uh, I guess I, sh I forgot to mention it because I always forget about the donation stuff. But you can donate live on stream. I am uh, saving up for a pet fish. I want to get a lionhead goldfish that I will put behind me. I thank you, Mega Suzik, for subscribing. So I, I really like the idea of the fish always hanging out on the stream with me. Since I am doing so many now, uh, I, I really want to name him Bubba. And it's going to be a lionhead goldfish. Now, it's not the fish that is that expensive, it's the tank and the, the things that you have to get for the filter and all that stuff. So that's why the goal is a little higher, because I, I don't want to get a fish unless if I know I can properly afford and take care of uh, one right now. And because of, obviously, the situation with COVID, you never know, uh, you know, with frivolous spending. I want to make sure that I have the money uh, saved up, and I thought this would be a good idea to do a little donation on the screen. So once again, thank you, Redworm. Hmm, yeah, I really like the way this is going. I might even look at, might rewatch the Journey Through Fairyland again after, 
just so I can get uh, more pose ideas because they had really good poses on their fairies. And usually when I pose my fairies, I feel like it's very, you know, like floaty, simple, but they had very elongated limbs. So their poses were, they were fantastic. So I might try to reference some of that again. Ooh, you guys are posting a lot. There are some good ones in here. Oh yeah, Amy, I like some of these. Some of these remind me of Face Off. I used to watch that show all the time. Oh, I remember that game. Oh, Amy, what's that from? Was it called Folklore? Oh, I love that game. I didn't beat it though, but I did like it. Might make these wings higher. I wonder instead of blocks, do we make them more round? Sometimes I like to think in shapes. So, I mean, that would be a crazy shape add on, just these two bold circles. Maybe the circles have thorns coming out of them. Obviously, you can play with that idea a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to see how it looks and go from there. Uh, Eric says, crying faces of anguish shaped like butterfly wings on the body signifying guilt of terrible crimes. Whoo! That would be crazy. I could do the, <laughs> here, wait, let me show you guys what I'm thinking. I know this idea has been done before, but maybe we can make this our own. Oh, thanks, Jinx Kitty Cosplay. Get that fishy boy. <laughs> wait a minute, is this the same? Oh, hey, you're the one that I met at C2E2. I thought that the name looked familiar. Well, thank you so much. Uh, if you guys don't know, Jix Kitty Cosplay won the, I believe it was the world championship for cosplay, correct? And it was at in Chicago. And her final was amazing. I, I literally can't explain how much, how much I like it. I think it's so good. You know what? I was going to draw a butterfly on the face and have it land. We're going to stay away from that idea. <laughs> I feel like it's something that I've uh, has been done before, but I do like the idea of butterflies around her, like what you were saying with patterning that look like anguished faces. Or maybe they would be moths at that point. Ignore my poorly drawn winged. I would obviously make it very subtle. Hmm. There are so many things we could play with here. I really like this concept for her. Oh, we should also start thinking of names for her. If you guys have any uh, cool, dark fairy names, something more than just, <laughs> why well, is the first thing that came to my mind? Elvira. <laughs> I, I would, tr I'm, we're going to, we're going to not use the name Elvira. Maybe give a little gap in the bark here. You know what? I really hate how I rendered the side. wonder if we, man, as much as I want to use thorns somehow, I feel like I'm 
I'm not doing it in a cool way yet. I feel like we could utilize it, maybe what you were talking about before in the chains and the, the wrist or something. And I definitely will draw a better face butterfly moth thing than that. You know what, after the stream's over, I might go outside and just sit around my trees and nature in the back and just start referencing some of that. See, I almost like the proportions being shorter on the sides of the horn and then one, this terribly tall one in the middle. Let me try liquefying just a touch. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see the comments here. Um, Dylan says, I'm not sure whether the thorns on the face mask helmet would be out of scale, like tiny, very tiny thorns maybe? Maybe. I know that's why I, I'm struggling with the thorns right now. I could try making the side horns bigger. Maybe that, maybe that helps a little bit. Just having them be thicker. Hmm, something to play off here. Um, Eric says, chained to a bell. Also, yeah, it was folklore. One of the games that I actually wanted to become a series, but no. Yeah, I didn't beat it, but I did like the, the look of it. Chained to a bell. <laughs> this bell. <laughs> My cowbell. Oh, oh, what if... Okay, hear me out. What if that's what was on her hands instead of it being locked? Oh, well, thank you. What was that? Anthony Delaporta, thank you for becoming a member. You get the cowbell. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really got to make new uh, coins and stuff that drop in the jar because I love the jar. But I gotta make custom things. Having the generic coins and stuff, I think could be better. What if, hear me out, we made the bell the thing that are is on her hand? <laughs> this cowbell is gonna get so much love. Because even though it might not be the prettiest sounding bell, it has a lot of power. I mean, obviously, I can make this look way more beautiful than just <laughs> adding on a bell. Because this kind of goes back to what I was talking about, how I like to work with shapes. I mean, partially why I like League of Legends so much is because a lot of their character designs have such a heavy focus on shapes. I mean, when you think of, in my opinion, what's one of the better ones that they've ever done, Jinx, super elongated, no boobs, very slim, and then super long blue braids, this crazy asymmetrical outfit, and then these weapons that are basically larger and probably weigh more than she even does, and they have two of them, this giant one on her arm that she has, and then this giant one that she, you know, carries like this, and it's just such a crazy design but when you look at it as a shape like instantly recognizable silhouette and i've always admired leak for that so when i'm in this more conceptual phase of doing art i like to think of things in shapes as well because of how much i enjoy the outcome that they create from it hmm I'll have to think about the bell on the hands. Maybe, maybe, maybe if they weren't so long. Hmm. 
I think if I got rid of two of the tiers, maybe. Or, what, I mean, I could just make it more bell-shaped, so it's a little more obvious. I'll have to think about that one. I don't know if I'm liking the, the look of it, but I do like the idea of the shapes being on her hands. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, Barton, or no, Bartek says, what about like a hidden smile that is filled with sharp teeth and like psycho expressions? It would be hidden behind that horn that's growing on her face. Oh, possibly. Or, oh, you know what? Instead of, oh, okay, hear me out. <laughs> Sometimes I, I think something like might look good. And then when I put it down, I'm like, oh no, that definitely does not look good. So sometimes I, I go for something and I'm like, okay, just hear me out. Let's just see how it looks. Do you kind of see the face? Do I, I could go more that direction where the face is very much hidden, but I also don't know if this just looks like a cactar from Final Fantasy. <laughs> I could see it going either way here. Uh, Martin says they look so beautiful. Oh, thank you, Martin. Yes, to bells. Uh, Kelsey says, yes, the cosplay championships. Thank you. You earned it. They're, it's so good. If you guys don't uh, follow her, her name is Jinx Kitty Cosplay, I believe, right? Yes. And you can see her winning outfit. It is phenomenal. Eric says, Hagmana. I actually don't know. If this is like a Lord of the Rings reference, I probably don't know what that is. Even though I love fantasy, I, I'm not too familiar with Lord of the Ring lore. Oh no, this is something way different. I think if you meant to put Jagannath, it has this crazy... I like the designs on it though. I could pull some of that from here. Um, Drea says, what if chains are hooked into her wings or she's tangled in netting or fabric? Oh, that would be interesting if her wings even have the, the spell on them. Hmm. I wonder if it's something where if she tries to remove the bells or whatever is locked on her hands, her wings will get torn off as well. <laughs> I'm just I'm shooting ideas back at you guys. Let me know if that sounds dumb. If you're like, definitely don't do that. Dylan says, turn up your birds outside, please. <laughs> All right. I like hearing them chirp. It's so nice. I can't wait to do more live streams in the summer when I can just have the wi uh, windows fully open. Cloud says, you need hand shown. You're the hand guy. I wonder what if the bell was made out of hands? <laughs> like all these, like the, I don't know, some wizards in the fairy world, the ones that put these chains or these in lockments on other fairies that do dirty deeds. I wonder if all of them, as they do their spell, uh, a incarnation of their own hands block the dark fairies hands and then the encasement is just a bunch of hands that are actually the lords or the wizards or whatever you want to call them the protectors of the fairy realm that's an idea to think about uh, oh yeah titania um, but there's a lot of different interpretations. I know Final Fantasy XIV had a pretty one. So that, oh, for names. Well, this is definitely more of a dark fairy. I don't know if Titania is what I want to go for here. Oh, Hagmanoth. I think you were talking about the name. Sorry, I forgot I was asking about that. Um, Jasmine, that one's not bad. Verksha means tree in Sanskrit. Verksha. No, 
one's pretty good. Bracelets made of thorns on her arms or legs. Oh, I kind of like that where the thorns are going down her arms and then probably her legs as well. Something more, a little more fashion oriented, which I kind of like. Um, Drea says, I personally don't like the second hole. It's too symmetric. I, I agree. Well, that must be way behind on comments. I like the second hole. But what if you make one horn broken off so that you just have three different lengths? Oh, that's not a bad idea. I like this one was shorter. Hmm. And I'll definitely play around with this too to kind of see what direction we're thinking. I don't, you know what, now that I'm looking at this, I don't want it to look like she's wearing gloves. <laughs> definitely want there to be a wood-like appearance. Hmm, like what we got going, guys. We got 40 more minutes to make this concept. Because then I'm going to probably do my best to make this an actual drawing. It probably won't get done until next week. Probably, so, I don't know, my schedule is so filled right now. But it'll probably be next week sometime. So she'll be finished hopefully sometime next week. Um, oh, hey, Candor. Just hopping in to wish everyone a nice day and night. About to head to bed. Well, you go to bed. Good night, Candor. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Artzell says, I saw the thorns as arms and now I can't unsee it. Hmm. I mean, that is an interesting idea. If her arms were thorns. I could see what that would look like. super thin arms and then obviously they go into whatever the entrapments are uh, Anthony says I'm not sure if you're familiar with Del Toro but the face reminds me of the forest god from Hellboy at Golden Army maybe look at that for reference Ooh, I do know that but let me look at the exact reference I'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah well and it's funny because Pan from Pan's Labyrinth is my favorite creature design of all time and I, I try not to like recreate it too much or steal too much from it but I could easily see like some swirling patterns that could go on the face. But I would have to do it in a way that doesn't feel like a direct rip from uh, the fawn. Because I think this is where I could throw in some of my, my gaudy filigree <laughs> everywhere and have a little more of an enchanted wood look, you know? Uh, Eric says, the chains are hooked in her wings and the chains are attached to the butterflies that are pulling on the chains to torture the fairy. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Or what if the... I wonder if these were her minions, maybe. Her minions, the butterflies. Hmm. I and mean, we definitely got something crazy going on here, which I like. Chain says, lose the bells, but the chains to the wings idea is nice, but just maybe just make them go up to the sides and just fade out. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Um, I do not do Twitch streams anymore. I am keeping them all on YouTube. So if you want to watch me draw live, I am doing a lot more actually. Uh, YouTube, I'll be, I used to do one stream a week, but like next week, I'm doing every day next week. So if you want to come watch me draw more, I'll be drawing every day at 2 p.m. 
Corey says, this would be a good time for my Hero Academia. One of the villains has his victim's hands holding on to him. I don't know why, but it could be a touch. It could be a bunch of hands holding her hand so she can't cast. Yeah, like a ball of hands, you know. I, I kind of want to play with that idea. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not liking the bell right now. As cool as I, I wanted to include the bell, maybe there's a different way I could incorporate the, the bell in future drawings. Uh, Anthony says, what if the horn arms are halfway encased in metal like they're permanently smelted on and the metal is in the shape of a filigree that goes along the grooves of the arms? We could try that. Oh, that'd be kind of crazy. Imagine she was doing so many dark arts that were forbidden that the the fairy, I don't even know what to call them, the council, they literally melted her hands onto these um, encasements, these entrapments that don't allow her to cast anymore. She's pissed. <laughs> she can't show it very well, but she's pissed. Oh yeah, let me see what you guys are posting on the Discord as well. Ooh, oh yeah, Amy. I love the shapes in that wood one that you posted. Well, you, you post a lot of them. These are great. I could definitely use these for references. Ooh, yeah, Drea, I like the... See, we can incorporate a bellish looking design. I mean, hands would be very difficult. I'd have to... I mean, still possible. I mean, actually, now that I'm drawing the hands on, I'm like, well, this wouldn't be that hard. I'd probably just have to draw, like, 11 on each side. I should do more of these dreams where we draw something together. I, I swear, whenever I do these, I always end up having such a good, um, what's that called when you and your teammates have good energy, a good, not cohesion, synergy. I always feel like I get good synergy with you guys. And I typically end up really liking what is created. Hmm, something to think about. Oh, you know what, Corey? I've seen that character cosplay before. Okay, so now I know the story behind it. Ooh, Drea, that bell is perfect. Oh, God, I love decadence so much. <laughs> it's a problem. Someone help me. I'm going to try adding that in. I like the secondary shapes where it... Holds up. Oh, I'm liking this. Drea, this bell reference is great. So then I could even, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, I do like the hand idea, but let's just see what the bell would look like. And what also might be kind of a double-edged sword is the bell not only is encasing her hand so she can't cast magic anymore, but people will always know when she's around because, you know, she has two bells melted onto her body now. Yep, 
You can see they have like little ridges on the things. Hmm. Guys, this is a really crazy idea. I, I like how this fairy is turning out. <laughs> this will be really fun for me to draw. Like I said, I think I might go outside after the stream ends and just look at some of the nature bark that I have in the backyard and maybe some of the leaf texture to help create some of the body forms that we got going on here. I might even give her these little shoulder pad things. <laughs> I kind of like that. Or maybe make them translucent. I don't know exactly what they are, but I'd play with it for sure. Keep remembering though, I want to make this look dark. So as much as I love ornation, I want to also keep it looking malicious in a way. Uh, Rachel says, what about a last name, Bellwether? It means an indicator, pre predictor of something, a person or thing that assumes leadership, a sheep wearing a bell and leading a flock. Bellwether. Yeah, I'm going to keep playing with names too. The Ungoliant. Name is the mother of all spiders in Lord of the Rings, but there is a little, rather a title of someone terrible because they turn to the way of spiders to sustain themselves. Ooh, I kind of like that. Um, Femme, I'm back. So what is the story of this creature? <laughs> okay, so here's a, here's a recap we have going on so far. So we went down a more fairy witch type direction and then we decided that this fairy was in trouble of some kind from casting too much dark magic. And the fairy council or whatever name I, you know, we come up with uh, basically encased her hand so she's incapable of casting magic anymore. And then she has these strings that are attached to the bell. I still got to figure out how to attach them in the bell. But uh, they're... The bell not only lets other people know that she's near in case people don't want to, you know, this malicious fairy near them, but also they're attached to her wings. So if someone tries to tear out the bells, they also tear out her wings. So she's unable to fly. So she's done some dark things. We don't know exactly what because we haven't gone to that part of the lore yet, but she's done some things. Um, Drea says, iron burns fairies. So there's a fact to play with. Ooh. I'm going to underline that. What if the, the bell should be made out of iron then, obviously, and the chains possibly out of iron? Uh, Anthony says, going with, along with Drea, or I missed one. Drea says, what if the chains are linked hands? Hmm. I mean, I could do that. I, I feel like you guys want me to draw hands. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just getting that impression. Um, going along with Drea Draw's idea, what if there's smoke coming from her burning flesh coming from the openings in the bell? Oh, that would be interesting. Actually, I could do, totally do some smoke effects. I might, as much as I love the butterflies also on the chains, I don't know if it's too much right now. Well, maybe not. I don't, I don't hate that. We could have the chain or the smoke coming out then. There we go. Um, Art Cell says, maybe we can see some thorns coming through the hands like she's trying to escape. Or we could throw some, oh, what if there were thorns on the bell? 
Hold on. Like iron casted thorns it has these really powerful looking shapes here. Hmm, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Dylan said, or Drea, yay, shovels decadence into the bonfire. <laughs> the bonfire. I have never heard that expression before. I like that. Throw it in the bonfire. If you're keeping the butterflies, says Dylan, what about having them attached to the inside of the bell? Oh, like they're the ones that are helping ringing it? So they're always alarming people that she's near. That's not a bad idea. I like that. Um, Anthony says, if you want to go with dark, you could have the thorn arms burning where the metal entrapments are like burning embers showing she's constantly in pain. Yeah, I, I like that idea. I think I might make her arms a little thicker then just to showcase more that they're her arms. And... Maybe some cinder type going off. This is this is almost like a Dark Souls Bloodborne type character now. Um, Simon says, when this COVID-19 stuff is over, I'm really interested in picking up an iPad. I'm so interested in digital sketching, especially since I am a scatterbrain when it comes to drawing. Yeah, this definitely helps me lock down my ideas and still have the freedom to edit and create. Because sometimes with pencil and paper, you feel so locked in so early. But with digital, it's not like I care if uh, I lose uh, or if I, I can change things on the go. Any stroke that I do isn't permanent, which is nice. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that, Simon. Fem says, those bells look a bit like daffodils now. Oh, and you know what? I don't hate that. Jake says, how about having parts of her rotting or smoldering as the cost of using dark magic? I mean, yes, I think maybe if I could make the mole or the where the tree is kind of falling apart or not even falling apart, but not molding, like wilting almost on itself, I could throw in some more rotten looking texture. Amy says, you should do a series with a few of the wizards casting a spell to curse her. <laughs> Amy, you really want me to draw a lot of people, don't you? <laughs> Eric says, maybe have something like the last gift from a parent or a lover that is a lone piece untainted by her punishment a little simple necklace or medallion oh that could be good like maybe that's what made her so dark i can make this the little medallion so maybe her lover gave her that or maybe her uh her lover uh maybe they were tortured or something lost killed unfairly that'll be our little easter egg is this maybe i can make it you know what, I was going to make it an acorn, but that wouldn't make sense with uh, the size. Because like I said, I like to have, if she's about three inches big, I like having things that are found in the earth also be relative to her scale. So yeah, we can make it just a simple little string necklace of some kind. Uh, Cloud says, small bells attached to her wings would be pretty cool. I like even have to have more bells alerting she's coming watch out and then i'm going to look at actual veiny wings so i can draw better wings here and i might use more of the butterfly wings for the the bottom too This is interesting. I almost don't want a super complicated pose with her because I like all the elements that we're seeing and I like having a more conceptual idea for this giveaway. I might do something with her arm movements, a little more decadent, but I want to see everything. What if they aren't butterflies but smaller fairies like her children or minions? Ooh. Oh, that I could do. Oh yeah, that's dark. I like that. I 
I know this is also kind of dark, but I like the idea that they're blinded somehow. Like maybe they have bells on their heads. So they can't even see where they're going. <laughs> it's like another little torture. I feel like this is a pretty harsh punishment, but just imagine she, she did something really bad. <laughs> She's the one that started COVID. Uh, Rachel said, or no, I got that one. Eric says, I like the idea that she did something very terrible, but the punishment was so severe and out of proportion with the crime that only she, that she only turned worse. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She's like ready for revenge, vindication. Anthony, hey, says, yet again, going with the smoke idea, what if there's also smoke coming from behind her head? Like the smoke and burning embers are also inside her in the back of her head opening. Oh, I could definitely show some smoke back here as well. Hmm, this is gonna be a fun drawing to draw. I like this. Um, to do. Okay, what do we got? We got about 19 more minutes until the stream ends, and I really like what we came up with. Like, this is this is great. Uh, Eric says, like, serving a sentence, but the sentence was so... Oh, no, I got that one. Or wait, counsel turned them into an example and never wanted them to be anything but a monster. Yes, that's what I'm thinking, too. Like, it was so severe because they wanted her to be the example for anyone else of the fairies that want to do these deeds, whatever they are. And this is what will come up, you know, this is what will happen to you. Eric says, perhaps chunks of the wings ripped off. I could have a couple of tears. I kind of like the idea of how she's trying to maintain this elegance or this uh, stance of superiority, even though she has all these terrible things on her. I kind of like that she still walks with this pride, you know. Uh, Rachel says, briar means a thorned shrub, but usually briar is in reference to the briar rose, a brother's grim tale by the name Sleeping Beauty. Mm -hmm. I actually did know that one. Oh, I did not know it was because she is the rose encased in the cas castle surrounded by briar. I learned something new today. Them says, maybe she tried to bring her loved lost ones back to life, and that's why she used all the black magic, but then everything went wrong. Oh, like maybe it when she did her spell, it like whoosh, it did a effect on everyone. Oh, that'd be interesting. Because I've always liked the idea of a full metal alchemist where you can't create something without substituting something of equal um, importance. So maybe in trying to give life back to whatever, you know, died, she wiped out a bunch of people. And even what came back wasn't the same thing. It was something even worse. Fem says, because black magic, so now the butterflies are the soul of her loved ones ripped in pieces. <laughs> oh, that's great. Bartek says, what if her wings are much more destroyed, like the wing is shredded? I mean, I you know what? I'll play with that. But I like I said, I kind of like the idea of her still trying to maintain the sense of I'm powerful. And I think having a maintenance, well, maybe a couple holes. Maybe you guys are right. Just to show some level of decay on her. Might have this back wing be lower. More like here. And I'm thinking, thinking the bells would be a bit darker because of the iron. Give some contrast going up her body. Oh, uh, let's see here. A uh, belly melt says, and then don't forget to put add von art says. But I, I did, I did catch yours. Maybe the necklace was a gift from her lover, who also had it, had to be the one who burned her. Oh, that'd be interesting. Like, what if her lover was on the council and he was the one that had to sentence it? Oh, that'd be interesting. Uh, ooh. Eric says, chunks of her wings ripped off by the hooks become butterflies akin to children to, or minions. Kind of a creation myth about butterflies. The mother of cursed moth and butterflies. Like, as the chunks of her wings rip off, they form into other butterflies. Forbidden counsel love. <laughs> Martin Lopez says, I'm loving this so much. I do like this a lot. 
Uh, Anthony says, I'm sorry I'm so obsessed with the whole burning idea, but in regards to the wings, have you ever lit a leaf on fire and see the veins of the leaf glow? Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Like she's trying to maintain this sense of elegance, but she's literally falling apart. Oop. Yeah. Parts of her wings just kind of slowly falling off because the ember. I mean, I do like the idea of her... Definitely her hands I want to be in this constant source of pain. Hmm. I wonder if I do make this look more mask-like then? So that you can't actually see her face. Like maybe she does have a face, but we're concealing it. Or maybe the council put this mask on her so that she couldn't talk to anyone either. I mean, we're really torturing this poor fairy. But... We got to imagine that she did something horrible, but then is that the whole if eye for an eye, everyone would be blind scenario? Um, Simon says, y'all dark. I love it. <laughs> Amy says, I think you have enough ideas for a new book. Yeah, no kidding. This is great. Artez says, imagine the smaller fairies are the souls of the people who died because of her. I think there should be a lot more of those then. I think there should be plenty, but I kind of like the idea of that they're being punished Oh, I see what you mean. Like the souls are punishing her by alarming other people. There is so much going on with this. You know what? I think I might end this stream soon because we're already hitting close at two hour mark. So if you guys have any last minute ideas or something you want to throw out at me, because then I'll probably start putting this into a final pose and then I'll probably start penciling it tomorrow. Um, just because I need this drawing out by next week, most likely, because I think I'm at, what am I at? I'm at 298. So er, I think I'm at 298.8. So I'm, I'm pretty close to passing it. And I want to make sure that this is kind of ready to go. So I want to get this ready sooner than later. So yeah, I will be working on this pretty heavily. Uh, let's see here. Fem says, maybe instead of the wings tearing up, the chains are burning her wings and the smoke is coming off, but she still keeps this elegant and powerful stance through all the pain. Oh, that that's an idea. I have maybe wherever the hooks are kind of burning through the wing. Um, Eric says, redemption arc. The Ungoliant, along with the other exiles, defeats the council and becomes the new rules for a time, signifying a new age. Is it a new age or a new dark age? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are great. Maybe she's innocent, said Alexander. Amy says, this is so cool. I'm really loving it. Yeah, this was great. I think I, I should do more of these streams where we come up with ideas together. Because obviously, you have one artist pooling their ideas to create a concept, and then you bring in a plethora of artists to funnel through, I guess, one hand, but all these ideas coming together and creating an idea. Because I definitely would not have made this up on my own. So thank you guys. This is this is great. I'll definitely give you credit when I do the the post. Uh, Jake says, what about like twisted facial features like knots and trees? Oh, that would be interesting. Maybe hide one somewhere. Another little, little Easter egg. But only you guys will know. <laughs> uh Fem says, maybe the butterflies are indeed victims of her dark magic and they keep buzzing around her head to annoy her and weigh on her conscience. Oh, imagine if there were like so many. They're always just a flutter. That'd be so obnoxious. <laughs> I don't even like when flies buzz around my face. If I had all these specific butterflies trying to antagonize me, that'd be awful. Eric says, the council fears them because only a person who have committed terrible crimes can become a ruler. And so they try to keep them in a weakened state. That's a good idea. Yeah, like maybe she was more powerful than whoever the current ruler of the council was. So they tried to uh, bring them down. Um, maybe they set them up. Who knows? Arn says, some designs in the wings where it looks like soul screaming. Man, you guys, you guys like all these little Easter egg drawing uh, nods. I like that. I like that. Anthony says, what if the tips of her legs were also encased in iron filigree to continue the design and there are mini bells on the back of her calf? 
Oh, that's an interesting little idea. Because I like the idea of keeping these more pointed, but maybe I could have a very filigree iron type deal. I almost like the idea of having some thorns on this part. Let me see. Oh, I forgot to. Let me see the Discord. Oh, I've never seen a chain of hands like that. Yeah, Amy, that's cool. Weird, but cool. I love that. Mm, yeah, Drea, those are some good ornations as well. Definitely a fan. Okay, I'll take a couple more comments and then we're going to end the stream here. But I, lo I love what you guys came up with. Uh, Eric says, Acorn Replicas is ringing the bells, ringing in the bells. Well, that'd be interesting. Imagine if we had like a little bell down here. We keep the same type of shape. No, 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 I don't like that. I like the points. This is great. I honestly think we came up with a pretty, pretty solid concept. Like, I feel pretty good about um, putting this down on paper. Um, Eric says, I just realized this reminds me of Lilymon. Digimon had dope designs. Oh, it does look like Lilymon a little bit. I mean, I don't have a tulip head, but yeah, same kind of um, feel. Well, not quite as dark, obviously, but this is pretty good. Okay, I think I think that's where we're gonna end this one. Wow, so man, thank you guys so much for coming to this live stream. I can't wait to drop this now. So like I said, this should be done hopefully by the middle of next week. We'll see how my time goes. It's it's been it's gonna be a crazy week next week because I'm streaming literally every workday next week. So if you want to come watch me draw again, I'll be doing uh, draw us in your style on Monday, two plant streams, one on Tuesday where we'll physically do the plants, one on Wednesday where we'll draw the plants and what's a follow along so you can draw with me. And then have your stuff shown live on the stream for a critique. Thursday, I'm doing a Final Fantasy VII tribute, so I'm going to be drawing Cloud and most likely a Chocobo. And then Friday, I'm interviewing Villarte, which is another graphite artist. So it's crazy week next week. And then I'm, I'm going to be trying to get this bad boy done. <laughs> this is, there's going to be a lot of little filigree ornations, and oh, it's going to be great. I'll probably start drawing this outside. So I'll, I'll post it on Instagram if I... Uh, do little updates, but my patreon users can see the entire process of me penciling this So if you want to see her Go from this to a pencil illustration. I usually post I usually take a picture every hour that I'm working on something and I share where I'm at so yeah, and Yeah, we have that emoji contest going on which ends on the 15th in our discord one of the winners will be one of the featured emojis on our YouTube here and then lastly, I have my card deck coming out on the 29th. Like I said, I'm working on a card deck. I have nine of the cards done, but I need, I think, four more. And then one more. I think I'm doing another Joker. I want to do a red Joker and then the back of the card. And I'm hoping to have the Kickstarter out April 29th. So if that interests you, I will be posting about it then. And I'll, I'll do a big live stream because it's on a Wednesday. So we'll do a really big stream for uh, that. Okay. That's all I got. Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Let me do all the... Oh, no, you guys are amazing. And yeah, fam, this definitely reminds me of the Hollow Queen, too. I was literally, as I was doing the legs, I was like, well, I'll try to make it look different, but it definitely reminds me of it. But I'll make sure that looks way different. Maybe they're in the same universe. There's a thought. If you guys don't know, I'm working on this big Hollow Queen illustration. It's on the back burner currently. But it's the same type of ornate. It's she's a bee, but it's very filigreed out, very uh, uh, decorative, and I'm I will be finishing that probably around Halloween. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till then. Okay. Oh, you guys are amazing. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you so much for coming, and have a good rest of your Saturday. Okay, bye, 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 bye.